I like it fine. It's not really anything exploitable. I mean, the gold bases for Protoss are just as hard to take, especially with the pylon nerf. Uh, just because, like, you can't spam those photon overcharges, so you can, like, drop into the main and go to the third. It holds the same disadvantages as it would for a um, Zerg. How about the fact that it's, uh, I, I would think that the fact that, the, that there's a very open third tends to favor Terran on that regard, because, yeah, yeah okay, so so that the third is a little bit harder to take for Protoss, I would guess. Uh, especially with the photon It's just a Zerg favorite map. <laughs> I mean, no, but but in in this matchup, I mean, because uh, I mean, Terran versus Protoss, I would guess that Terran is more often the the more Zergy race, right? The 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 race that's gonna have the most units, as opposed to uh, versus Protoss. Yeah, yeah. Like for example, Protoss would have things like this. Disruptors would be really ineffective in this map, for mm -hmm. instance, right? Where um, unit compositions like maybe adept based unit compositions could be adept phoenix used strong. to be really strong in this map because you could actually take the gold base as your natural because you could defend it with you could defend drops with phoenixes and mm -hmm. the adepts will hold up the front at frontal attack. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, but with the nerf, it's not as great. It's still good. It's just not as great as it used to be. Obviously, cause yeah, it was because nerf. if any medevac does get past uh, the phoenix, then, then you're pretty much dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but we saw a, I think it was a 15 gas. No, Brunk's just gonna go gasless, which is. Let's do the player intros first in the top right hand side, into the not, not right hand side, <laughs> the top left hand side of the map. It is Rion playing for Team MVP and formerly of Team Axiom, Rip Axiom. Everyone hashtag Rip Axiom in chat. And uh, in the bottom right hand side of the map, it is the now streamer MC. Just a bunch of question marks on the over bunch of question marks because we don't know how well he's gonna do it. yeah so Ryung actually went for 15 gas 15 racks which is a build I started doing recently it's really strong it's essentially a quick widow mine marine drop and what it does it's pretty much so it's already you you think it's for sure gonna be a widow mine marine drop or could it be something no it else? could be something else but uh, already the builds deviating from what I do and he's getting actually a reactor and uh, a factory so this could be like a more economic approach to it he might be going for i think we saw it before with marine lord he goes for a marine widow mine drop and then he gets a cyclone for defensive purposes he was getting a lot of widow mines uh in his series or ryan was getting a lot of widow mines in his series even against vortex and yeah widow mines are much less common in tvc i would guess than in, than in tvp right so yeah at, at to a certain point yeah so yeah so I would guess that he probably likes Widow Mines here too. Yeah, and I mean, Ryung's, he's getting a Hellion too, so maybe he's just gonna fool us all wrong. Um, but MC is getting that Stargate. Not a big surprise. Stargate's a pretty good uh, option all around against Terran, because if they don't have that mineral line defended, it's essentially like there's not a queen there to like shoot off or anything so like that. So this is most likely gonna be Oracle coming out of MC? It might be an Oracle. Uh, I would. In this position, where if I was MC, I'd probably go into an Oracle and then go into Phoenix, uh, but he might just like come, he might just like prove me wrong since I've been proven wrong tons of times right now, or he might go straight into Phoenixes. Like Phoenix adapt, like I said before, is really strong, but yeah, but he's not really taking the gold. So there, there. Oh, and he is going Phoenix. So, mm -hmm. so what is the purpose of the Phoenix? Just to defend drops. Defend and... drops, and eventually you can push out. And what it does, especially against Bio Mine. Is that you pick up the widow mines? Essentially, the same thing mm. you do for lurkers. You yeah. just pick up all the widow mines, and then your depths with the depth upgrade can just roll over the bio army pretty much. Absolutely, and and Ryang, Ryang seems to be playing right into the hand of MC, opening first with uh, Liberator, which is not I'm guessing it's not gonna strong. do absolutely nothing yeah. against Phoenix openers. And then uh, a widow mine to follow that up, which is also probably not gonna do nothing, but. Let's see, or not gonna do anything, I should yeah. say. So this is probably the only opportunity for Ryung right now to get damage done, is when the production's low from MC. Marines are actually in a really good position with the Hellions. They, I mean, the Hellions can attack Adepts. Hellions are actually pretty okay against Adepts. No, the Photon Overcharge is not gonna help MC at all, though. Yeah. Ryung baiting, baiting it out really, uh, we'll really well. We'll see how many probes go down. It's two so far. He needs a little bit more than that. If he gets a solid shot of those Hellions, it One could actually be huge. One of them will get Really smart uh, by MC, identifying that he only has two Phoenix, doesn't want to lift up both Hellions at the same time, so just lifts one off and identifies that one Hellion is going to have a lot of uh, a, a much harder time killing probes there, so yeah, and well done, good decision making. If you got a couple more probes, it would have evened out the worker count, but of course, uh, Grung's a little bit behind, but that's just because of mules and the constant chrono boost that Protoss have now that they can just 
put into their nexus instead. Um, the phoenixes are actually going to deny oh, this natural. Huge. It's a pretty cute move, and it's really it's going to help out a lot. This um, there's no cyclone actually, so the problem with going uh, he might get it again. Yeah, he's he is going to get it again. Like he can probably do this, and Ryung has to commit to defending One the more. natural. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty huge. The the command center has been delayed for so long, and MC is basically saying if you want to come down, come down. He's just parking the the adept shadows there to give him vision for the time yeah. being. And the Phoenix are going to start working at this Liberator. The adepts, however, perhaps don't have enough damage to uh, contest the army on the low ground. And uh, trying to go for another deny, but not going to get it this time around. Let's see if the Phoenix can find some damages. He identifies that the Widow Mine is potentially off position. He might get the Liberator. He will. No! Yes. Good job by MC there. So really good control. Still a lot of a lot of energy on a, on a few of those phoenix. Mm -hmm. So and so he could still lift up some people. Yeah, and he's he, and he got the full scout off at the uh, main. So he actually ooh, took pretty big wood on hit. But he sees that uh, Ryung doesn't have a third command center. So at this point, he can essentially just produce units, and phoenixes are probably going to be the biggest ones, uh, just because phoenixes will be able to pick up the tanks and all pretty much all priority units that aren't marines. Uh, like you pick up the tanks, pick up marauders, pick up widow mines. Like phoenixes are just really, really strong right now uh, in PVT. Um, and like siege tanks or siege medevac tanks, I mean they're great and all, but they still like they're still they can get picked off by phoenixes. Like phoenixes mm -hmm. right now in PVT are really, really just overall a good composition to have. And he's gonna go in here. He's gonna oh, get a couple no kills. Oh, got no turret at all here, so. Yeah, he's gonna get three additional kills. If we look at the units lost tap, he he uh, MC is is far far ahead. But I think that a, a few of those units lost by MC are probably the adepts that didn't really accomplish much. Mm -hmm. I feel like if MC had just used the the phoenix, he would even have a, a much larger advantage here, because I don't think the, the adepts did much at all. But regardless, MC with complete map control is gonna be taking his gold base and, and gonna set himself up uh, in a, in a great position for this game. Yeah, absolutely. And we see that up, uh, the blink upgrade. Um, surprisingly, he's not going for that adept phoenix. Uh, probably just because, like I said before, the adepts got slightly nerfed. And um, it's actually going for sentries. I have no idea. Maybe he just wants to like zone out the marines. Do Do you feel like blink and uh, phoenix overlap a little bit in what they, in what yeah, they do? Yeah, yeah. So. That's what. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, MC is just looking at the base of Ryung. He doesn't see a third command center, so he's got to know that, like, Ryung is pretty much just going to power up on two bases and do, like, a really strong push with Marine Tank. Uh, I have actually not used Marine Tank a lot in TVP at the moment, so I really... So what is MC looking to do with this sort of unit composition? Is he going to be blinking, uh, maybe counter-attacking with Link Stalkers or something along those lines in the Phoenix? Or, or... I think he's just trying to get a solid unit out. Like, he... You can't really go adapts versus marine tank because the marines deal so much DPS mm -hmm. that uh, it just destroys, shreds through all the adepts. With uh -huh. blink, you have that capability of blinking back the weak stalkers since they don't take uh, they don't a huge chunk. Much. Yeah, and they don't take that huge chunk of damage from a mara or from a marine. It's like more of a constant high DPS than a high hitting hit like a marauder or a tank. Yeah. But then. The Phoenixes come in and lift up the tank. So essentially, it's Stalkers versus just pure Marine. So it's uh -huh. gonna see. It's gonna be who can outproduce the other. Uh, the War Prism is a very nice touch to it because he's able to know. He identifies, like I said before, there's no third command center. So whenever Ryung moves out, he can just go in with the War Prism, drop in a couple of depths, and then just run back out. And Ryung either has to react to it. Or he loses his mineral line. And one of the cool things about Phoenix is they're so mobile that if that was the case, he can potentially use uh, the Phoenix both aggressively and defensively within, within yep. the, the same and range of time. And he's forcing out stems, which anything he can get out at this point is really, really well done. And he's going to use the this Phoenix. This is a big attack by Ryung. This though. is a pretty big yeah. attack. We saw, we saw Vortex play excellent against Ryung in some games, ha seemingly have every advantage and still die. To this sort of timing oh, wow. attack by Ryung, that's Ryung a huge just, stem. Yeah, he stemmed his whole army. He's afraid. The Phoenixes are, like, MC's brilliant with this Phoenix control. He's pretty much using it like you would Muta, and you cut off the parade push uh, instead of the wave. At, like, uh, Ryung's just trickling units down, so the Phoenixes are actually picking off, like, a Marauder here and there. Uh, so Ryung needs to readjust and reinforce in waves as well. Yeah. Uh, he does scan, he does take out the Observer. 
which is a really nice touch because the Observer was camping the ramp. But as we see this War Prism's in here, I think he's going to wait for his Adept upgrade to be finished, and the MC's just going to throw those Adepts MC in MC is in absolutely no hurry, right? The longer oh, this game goes... Oh, this is actually pretty big. Oh, okay. So he loses two Phoenixes, which is a pretty big deal. You don't want to lose those Phoenixes to uh, Marines just because... You just don't want to. <laughs> yeah, knowing knowing that Rian is out on the map, he's gonna utilize the War Prism, but perhaps a little bit preemptively, uh, especially trying to siege the production. They're a little bit greedy. I feel like he could have just uh, pump them in the mirror line, or 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 just off to the side and and got an, another mm -hmm. warp in before committing anything. But uh, as it stands, I mean, MC will continue to outproduce Rian with his much better economy now that yeah. he has the gold that for a is long a time. Huge amount. Of Protoss right there and he's getting a Templar Archives behind this and he's almost maxed out MC is almost in a position just to like push and like yeah, pu push into the old lane of Ryong which is just impressive right because Ryong is the well, one that is pressured yeah. to do something here. so if Ryong was back at home there's no way with tanks on the high ground that uh, MC could actually push into it efficiently I really like this positioning by Ryong though he's gonna he utilize... has to get the adept on the tanks though I don't like the positioning of the Adepts, though. I think the Adepts should have got right he still on top so of the much tanks. More. Yeah, he has so much more. It doesn't matter. But, um, but yeah, this is pretty much just going to close out the games. The problem with uh, facing against Phoenixes is that you can't really retreat your, with your medevacs because the bo boost only lasts like 10 seconds, and the Phoenixes have constant speed. And they're the the pretty fastest quick. unit in the air. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So really well done by MC there. I, and um, I, I got to say, I didn't like Ryong... I didn't like how he stemmed the, back. Yeah. I didn't like that. I think he should have committed forward. He got a third command center and almost a hindsight thinking like, oh, this push isn't going to be as strong as it is. I got to try to macro out of it. I think he should have just went in. He was it. already committed. When you're when you're behind against a player of the caliber of MC, it's not like you're just going to macro your mm -hmm. way out. Uh, or at least it's extreme. It's going to always going to be going to be a, an extremely difficult task to to tackle there. So MC takes the first game. And uh, we'll see if Ryang is able to, to bring it back at all.